The cockle supplies were running low following our recent fishing holiday on Kangaroo Island. Brother Steve and I decided to make the approximately two hour trip to Goor Beach to get some more. Cockles, or pippies as they are also known, are generally plentiful on the ocean beach at Goolwa. The cockling season runs from November to the end of May, with a bag limit of 300 per person. There are severe penalties for people who do the wrong thing. If you're going cockling, you're going to need one of these, and one of these, and probably this would be useful as well. And finally, one of these, the beach is four-wheel drive only. Once we had deflated the tyres, we tackled the soft access track to the beach. The weather wasn't looking that great when we arrived, but with a forecast in the mid-twenties, we were hopeful that it would soon clear up. Once on the beach, we headed easterly towards the Murray Mouth through a distance of about four kilometres, prospecting several times to see if we could see any cockles washing in the surf. After several fruitless attempts doing the pippy shuffle, we noticed that some people were digging near the low water mark, so we decided to give that a try as well. For some reason, the cockles were very deep in the sand, up to 15 centimetres or more. We had to remove the top layer of sand and then feel around below with our fingers. Steve proved to be a very good digger. I'm glad I bought him. Sometimes the water helped us by scouring out the sand, other times it just filled in the holes. It was hard yakka digging them out, but gradually our total built up. Once the tide started to really come in, it became a very wet job. With 400 in a big bucket in the shade of the car, we had a short lunch break before attempting to get our last 200. After about four hours of hard work, we had our 600 and headed back. On the way, we passed lots of people still doing the pippy shuffle but apparently not with much luck. Once back in the beach car park, we reinflated the tyres and headed for home. So those are actually the breathing tubes. Well, one's in and one's out. Yeah. They set the valve and then this pumps the water. Yeah. Okay, so here we are back home and uh, this is our catch. Today, our legal limit of 600 fresh cockles, most of which will be frozen down for fish bait and a few will be um, purged and then eaten in a variety of, uh, of methods. Seems to be quite a popular end for cockles these days, not just used for bait.